Hi, my name is Robin and I'm a licensed physical therapist assistant or a PTA. I currently work for a hospital and I see a variety of patients with different settings such as um, patients with strokes, joint replacements, open heart surgeries, or just general uh, debility. With being a physical therapist assistant, um, we work under the direction of a physical therapist. And with that, that means the physical therapist has to initially see the patient and do a long evaluation. We get to carry out the treatment and see the patient um, daily, sometimes twice a day. And we see patients um, to teach them how to walk again, which is called gait training. So we'll walk the patients, transfer training, teach them how to get in and out of the bed, maybe in and, or on and off of a bedside commode or in and out of a car sometimes we uh, can teach that. We teach them exercises to help them get stronger to be able to do those tasks. We also do some um, stair training, teach people how to go upstairs, like if they've broken their leg and need help with crutches, and then we have to teach them how to go up the steps with the crutches. Uh, my typical day uh, starts at 8 o'clock, and I finish about 4.30, and I work five days a week um, with rotating weekends. The requirements to become a physical therapist assistant um, require that you get an associate's degree from a license, I mean an accredited, excuse me, accredited physical therapist assistant program. Usually those are at a community college, junior college. Um, with this degree, while you're in the, your schooling trying to get the degree, you'll have a lot of coursework that you'll have to complete, but you'll also get a chance to do clinicals where you go out to different settings such as the hospital or outpatient clinics, nursing homes. Um, to get uh, another or even home health to get um, some experience in those fields and that will help with your schooling. After you graduate from an accredited school, you must sit for a licensure exam in most states. Um, this is a, the board exam. It's a three hour test that you have to take with 250 questions. Once you pass that, you'll receive your license and you're able to work. Um, this is a very competitive field to get into. It's um, very difficult as far as grades. You have to maintain a good GPA. You need an above average GPA. You also need to um, do a mandatory volunteer hours. With the mandatory volunteer hours, um, you would go to different settings with a physical therapist or a physical therapist assistant. You would um, do observation with those. And most of the time you need at least 25 hours from each setting to even apply for a physical therapist assistant school. And you also need letters of recommendation. Um, also, you need to have a compassionate heart and you have to want to work with people. You get very close to your patients. You get a chance to know their families a lot of times and their situations. And sometimes those can be tough situations. They may not have insurance and they may not have home support to help them, anybody at home to help them. And so you have to work on ways with um, the patient to be able to take care of themselves or to help them find pay, uh, people to help them. The best part of my job would have to be seeing patients progress daily with treatment or over time. It's always good to see um, a patient that was not able to walk a few days before you started seeing them and now they're walking a few feet. So that always makes you feel good and feel like you're doing something right. Also the relationships that I get to build with the patients and their families are, is a really great part of my job. I'd probably say the worst part of my job would have to be seeing a patient that just is not going to get any better. They've reached their potential. I've had patients that have had severe strokes that have not been able to sit up on their own and even after uh, weeks of therapy still cannot sit up, maybe not even be able to um, talk. And so that's real disheartening to see that, that you're not able to make a difference in their lives. Some people might would say that the worst part of being a physical therapist assistant might be the wound care in hospitals and nursing homes. A lot of times um, the therapist will do the wound care and the wounds could be anything from like a bed sore or an infected wound that you might have like on your arm. Um, the bad part about those are that a lot of times they have um, bad smells and they're real bloody. So some people don't like that aspect. I haven't really had a problem with that but um, I have had friends who did not like that part of their job. 
Okay, my last bit of advice would be just to get as many volunteer hours as possible as early on. Even if you're in high school, you could go ahead and start volunteering at your local hospital, maybe even an outpatient clinic um, or a nursing home, just to see if that's something that you even want to do. Because once you get into the volunteer and you see what a physical therapist assistant does, you may decide this may not be for you, or you may say, oh, this is great, this is what I want to do, but I don't like the nursing home, but I like the hospital. So it's good to go to different um, environments to see what might be a good fit for you. And also, keep up your grades. Your GPA is so important. Um, above average GPA is required to get into the program. Some schools let you go straight from out of high school right into the program, so you want to make sure your GPA is up in high school as well as in college. Uh, I would definitely work on your math and science. Those are the two subjects that they look at the most, so you want to make sure that you've got your math and sciences down to an art there because that's going to come in handy especially like your anatomy and physiology.